we're asked to find vector x given vector u and vector v, where vector x is equal to three times vector u minus two times vector v, which means vector x is a linear combination of vectors u and v in R3, where the scalars are three and negative two. We'll first find vector x, and then we'll also take a look at this graphically. Vector x is equal to three times vector u minus two times vector v. Now if we wanted to, we could write minus two times vector v as plus negative two times vector v. The next step is to perform scalar multiplication and then subtract the two vectors written using column matrices. Three times vector u has components 12, 15, negative nine, minus two times vector v has components four, negative two, 12. Which means vector x has components 12 minus four, 15 minus negative two, and a negative nine minus 12. Simplifying, the components of vector x are eight, 17, and negative 21. And now let's take a look at this graphically. Vector u is graphed in blue and vector v is graphed in red. For the next step we will graph three times vector u, which we see here, and now we will graph negative two times vector v with the initial point at the terminal point of three times vector u. Notice how negative two times vector v is pointing in the opposite direction of vector v. And now vector x is the vector with the initial point at the origin or the initial point of three times vector u and the terminal point is the terminal point of the vector negative two times v, which we see here in black. Let's go ahead and zoom out and animate the vectors. Again, the blue vector is three times vector u, and the red vector is negative two times vector v, and the black vector is the vector x, which is the linear combination of vector u and v. I hope you found this helpful.